So we're here at BSB Day at the uh, NEC Motorcycle Show. A BSB Day, a traditional party event, and it's absolutely heaving. Everyone's in a super positive mood. And the 2023 season essentially starts here. First and foremost, we're going to be calling it the Bennett's British Superbike Championship for the next three years, 23, 24, 25, which we're delighted to announce today. And it takes Bennett's uh, championship title from the nostalgic days back to 2005 with Gregorio Lavia winning the championship back then through to uh, 2025. And we'll, uh, we look forward to working with Bennett's son. A range of so many things. It really is just much more than a, a commercial partnership. It's a, almost like a family affair. But off the back of that, the next biggest structural change to the championship is uh, a revamp of the point system. The championship's been going since 1996, so we're talking 27 years now, will be the 27th season. Uh, we changed the season, the championship format, to start the 2010 season with what was at the time hugely controversial. After two thirds of the season, we take the top six as it was at the time, elevate them to a new point standing, uh, apply podium points, and get a, a real close run in into the season. And of course, we've had some memorable championship finishes, not least the 2011 season with Tommy Hill and John Hopkins going down literally to the last 200 metres sprint to the line. Uh, Scott Redding and uh, Josh Brooks, uh, Shaky Byrne winning multiple championships. Tara McKenzie nicking it from his teammate O'Halloran in 2021. So, no, Shannon has been a great thing, but things change. And most importantly, the 24 race main season, which is the biggest change, uh, which was uh, an unintended benefit, if you like, of the COVID period, where we went to a three races a weekend. That kind of changed the dynamic of the championship a bit with a lot of races in the main season, then making the change for the showdown and perhaps arguably diminishing what was a, the biggest chunk of the championship into having a little less of a, uh, an influence on the final uh, standing. So we've looked at it, maintaining an 11 event season, three races per round, 33 races, lots of races, keeping this principle of the main season and showdown on the basis that the main season is that first part, the core, the, the nuts and bolts of the championship. Eight rounds at the eight different venues that we go to. That's going to score slightly differently. It's slightly reduced from what it's been previously. It's going to be 18 for a win, 16 for second, 14 for third, uh, down to one point for 15th place. The end of those 24 races, no resets or playing around with artificially moving people with podium points and stuff in the past. But when we return to Alton Park, the points payout will increase. It will go up to 25 for the win, 22 for second, so slightly less than uh, currently. Uh, 20 for third, again down to one for 15th. Then when we get to the final round at Brands Hatch, it ramps up again. 35 for a win, 30 for second, 27 for third, down to two points for 15th place. So incrementally increasing throughout the championship, all points score, there's no reset or moving around. We've applied the maths to previous seasons and can really prove that we're going to get mathematically, if recent trends will be repeated, you know, up to a dozen riders in mathematical range with three events to go rather than making a forced eight riders and locking everybody out. So we've seen in other championships, like Better GP's got a new sprint race format that's only going to pay out half points. The World Superbike Tissot Super Pole race has uh, been a, 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 a half points format for theirs. So all motorsport series have got a slight variation on their point system. We think that's a, a good indication that it's a reasonable format to look at in terms of using points payouts being slightly varied through the different uh, parts of the system. But getting down to the, you know, that sharp end when we get to the final three events and the points payout just goes up a little bit. Uh, to keep uh, keep the, the, the show really hot. Off the back of that, uh, we reintroduced one lap Super Park, Cadwell Park in August. Great reception, uh, real kind of stadium feel with no hiding places. Riders do that perfect lap to get their all important grip position for the first event of the weekend. We're going to replicate that at the two other classic circuits we go to, Brands Hatch Grand Prix Circuit in July and the Donington Grand Prix Circuit in May. So that'll be Three of the 11 rounds in sunny conditions will go for that one lap Super Pole format. Um, and that's kind of it, and the rest will take care of itself. But lots of team and rider changes. Almost every team has got some slight variation, be it 
Uh, changing manufacturer, changing riders, not a huge amount of continuity this year. There'll be some slight change, so put it in the mix. Spanish testing back, which is important, getting riders and teams having valuable seat time ahead of the start of the season, which has been uh, something that's been pretty difficult, not least because of COVID, where the whole world shut down. So we're going to start testing it, our brand new circuit that we've acquired in Spain, the circuit of Navarra, which is uh, close to Bilbao in the north of Spain. So hopefully some nice spring Spanish weather and the season will start uh, the 11th, 12th and 13th of March. Then some UK testing at Donington on the freshly resurfaced Donington Park circuit on the 25th and 26th of March. A day off, the final test then at Silverstone on the 28th and 29th of March. 29th of March. And that's the last dress rehearsal before we return for the Easter weekend, 7th, 8th and 9th of uh, April 2023 for the first instalment of the 2023 Bennett's British Superbike Championship season.